what the dollar would do for fame. Allow you to come out of character. Put yourself in a situation you can't get yourself out of. Looking at you, reevaluating your thought process of that concert that you sold. Just sell to the enemy. It's a thought process for me. You trying to call on a good God. Good God said, wait, what's going on? I ain't tell you to do that. The enemy cites you out the thought process again? It's a thought process for me. You're battling yourself. You can't see for yourself the date. You became your worst enemy. They just cite you out your thought process, letting your freedom at the end of the day. It's a thought process for me. Because God was never for sale, respectfully. When you tune in yourself, respect yourself, you would know that better days are ahead. Because good God said, there are better days ahead. God understands that you just sold yourself to the enemy at the end of the day. That was never part of good God's plan. It's a thought process for me. How the enemy was psyching you out your thought process, letting your freedom and allow you to believe that they shaking with you in a healthy way today. It's a thought process for me. They was only tapped. They was only tippy toeing on a dance floor. And they wasn't even trying to play you close. They just wanted your money. They just wanted your soul. It's a thought process for me. How they, how they tippy toeing away and they don't even respect you. They never even respected you. Now they disrespecting you, abusing you, mentally, physically, emotionally. You can't even show up for yourself today. Looking for everybody else's help. But yourself, can't nobody guide you to what you just did. You just set yourself up. It's a thought process for me. Looking for help in all the wrong places. Can't nobody help you but you. Because you got to respect yourself to understand that you got to get in tune with the good, good God now. Because good God don't play with you. Good God sees you for who you truly are. And good God loves you. And good God will always love you. But you got to turn yourself over to good, good God. Not the enemy God. Respectfully, because it's two different gods. You got the good God that will save you from good days to to elevate, to become your best self vision of yourself from the trauma and the pain. And then you got the bad God. That's your worst enemy. The one that's going to bring you pain and suffering and psych you out your eyesight, let alone your freedom, because they ain't got good intentions. It's the thought process for me. How you sign your name on a contract just to reevaluate your life and say to yourself is, I don't love myself today. What did they do to me? It's a thought process for me. Care that money smell good today, but then when you physically reevaluate your thought process, you don't even want the money no more. It just bought you things, and it just made you have a good time with life. But you just want your life back, reevaluating yourself. All the pain and trauma you caused yourself when you thought you was trying to heal yourself and reevaluate yourself to say is. I'm reevaluating my whole life all over again, dealing with trauma and pain, all because I allowed the enemy to play me too close. Over a dollar for fame, it's a thought process for me. Every dollar ain't a good dollar, respectfully. It's a thought process for me. How you just trying to find yourself, to love yourself, to respect yourself, but you can't get in tune with yourself because you don't lost yourself, because you don't signed the contract with the enemy. But good God said there are better days ahead. Once you see that God chose you to see another day. But the good God says you got to actually see within yourself to turn over to the leaf of faith. That when you walk by faith, you walk by sight. When you walk by faith, you don't walk by sight. You walk by faith, not by sight. So understand that the good God will reach out to your hand and show you that there are better days ahead because you was always a child of God. But you overlooked yourself. And you know how to defend yourself. In the situation when you was against the enemy. You know they said when you level one up, you get new enemies. You didn't even realize that you just got a new enemy signed a contract with. It's a thought process for me. The good God will never ask you to sign a contract that's not for you. And I say that respectfully. Because good God will put you in a situation where you're elevating, becoming your best self vision of yourself. Not to distract you, to have to deal with pain and suffering. I say that respectfully. It's a difference. Now pay attention. Because good God loves you. Good God will never overlook you to allow you to feel like you're unworthy of yourself. But when you dance with the enemy, you're only playing in good God's face because that's, that's God's enemy. And God don't dance with the enemy. God stands in his lane and, and shows you at the end of the day, I protect you from the enemy. It's the thought process for me how God shows us at the end of the day who our true enemies really are. And we be so blinded to the situation. And to reevaluate your whole life and say to yourself is, 
what did I do today? I just want the good God to favor me in a healthy way, to show up for myself, to elevate. But when the good God says, when you turn over that leaf, you got to understand the definition of respect looks like a wholesome person. Because once you disrespect good God, the energy is different. Good God will forgive you, but you got to pay attention to know at the end of the day, know your worth, know your self-value, to love yourself, to respect yourself, and never allow the enemy to suck you out your thought process, learn your freedom of your eyes out of your pockets. It's a thought process of me. You know, everybody doesn't believe in God. Everybody may not believe that God is real. But God is real. The good God. The one that's not going to go against you. The one that's going to motivate you to see better days ahead. And when you know when you know who God enemy is, God feels like he's being disrespected. God feels like someone is really disrespecting them. Because at the end of the day, God stays away from certain people for all the right reasons. All money ain't good money. Every contract ain't a good contract. And respect is a two-way street. I respect you, you respect me. It's a thought process for me. You should never want to allow yourself to be in an uncomfortable situation where you feel like you can't get yourself out of. And now you got to do all these flips and turns just to prove to somebody at the end of the day that you would never be valued in their life in a healthy way. Because they will abuse and disrespect you when they feel like it. It's a thought process for me. They're able to control you, manipulate your character whenever they feel like it. It's the thought process for me. They say be careful of your company. But that's too late. Because you allow the enemy to be in your presence. It's the thought process for me. When everybody's not deserving of your time. You ain't got to sit and fake gaslight yourself anymore. Acting like you're so in tune with yourself to love yourself, to respect yourself. After you done signed the contract with the enemy at the end of the day. A bad, bad one too at that. Now you're looking for a good God to come save you. But you only reach out to good God when it's convenient for you. Not on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sun Sunday situation. You do it on just because moments when you in a when you when you when you feel like your back is against the wall and you don't know which way to turn. It be the thought process for me. Because God will guide you the better days ahead. But you gotta understand at the end of the day that God is not accepting disrespect respectfully. It's the thought process for me. To know what you just did. You got to understand the healing process behind it. To get back on good God's side, that karma ain't going to be easy. And I don't mean bad karma either. I mean the karma that you mix with the good and the bad. So now you got to fix it. To make it even. For an even exchange with the good God. But the good God, all good God wants you to do is respect them. That's it. Not disrespect them. Show up. And good God will show up for you too. And I say that respectfully. Good God will respect you on days when you can't see for yourself. Days when everybody else overlooked you. Because good God says there are better days ahead. When you understand yourself to know at the end of the day that good God don't shake with the enemy of the bad gods. And I say that respectfully. I hope you get the help that you need today, whoever you are. This is just a message of a reminder at the end of the day that God is still real. God is still real. God exists. And I say that respectfully. Now you genuine love, respect, protect your energy because not everybody's over your time. Have a safe day to the genuine ones only. Have a safe week. Protect your energy because not everybody's over your time. Now you genuine love, respect. God is not for sale. Respect.